Los Angeles County Board of Supervisors voted to put a new measure on the November ballot that would give them the authority to remove a publicly elected sheriff and install their own minion. If voters approve the measure, the board would have the power to remove the sheriff for any cause. My next guest thinks this is one of the worst ideas she's ever heard of. I want to welcome in studio actress, producer, and candidate for LA County Board of Supes, Roxanne Beckford. And I always mess it up. Hogue. Hogue. How are you? Nice Fine, to see you again. Thank you. Good to see you. Thanks for making the drive down. It's a beautiful drive. From Los Angeles to San Diego. Um, wow. Where do I begin with this nonsense? Well, uh, all you need to know is that the Board of Supervisors actually is just five people that control the lives of 10 million people in the county of LA. Mm -hmm. And when you talk about California and the craziness in California, one out of every four California voters and residents is in LA County. So if you wanna see where California's going, you look at LA and it's not pretty. No, I mean, listen, I try to avoid even driving through the county. The minute you get into LA County, the roads, the buildings, the homeless, the crime, it, it's- It degrades. Huge difference. Yeah. It's disgusting. I don't know how you do it. Well, I, my family fled a third world country in the <laughs> 70s and came to California eventually because this was the dream. This was the California Back dream. Back then. And, and now it's, it's a mess. Um, sadly, I didn't make it through the primary, but I'm supporting the one sort of sane uh, person left on the ballot. Catherine Barger is the dissenting voice on the Board she of Supervisors. She was the one I mentioned, right. And she's been great. And you'll see that what the board did was put up an initiative that says four to one, not unanimous, when we already have a way to get rid of a sheriff that's breaking the law. It's the recall process. The, the sheriff of a county is And that's for the people to do it, not exactly. five people. Yeah. If you want to recall a sheriff, that's up to the people. Like you folks are trying to recall your DA, Mr. Gascon, right now. Yes, and yeah. hopefully that's going to happen. But it's a constitutional office. Sheriff is not something that they made up out of whole cloth to add to the bureaucracy. Yeah, they can't do this, can they? Well, I mean, how can they do this? If somebody sues and it goes to uh, the, the state level, wouldn't it go against the California state constitution? It would. That's an elected office. You can't it, just take it away. It doesn't bother the Board of Supervisors. They have so much power. So much of their agenda is actually settling lawsuits that they do lose. <laughs> but, but they don't care. And you have to look at, at actually what's the reasoning behind this. Well, it turns out that more than one of the current Board of Supervisors are under investigation. L.A. is as corrupt as it gets. And Sheila Kuehl uh, is named in a, in a warrant, and there's some issues going on with um, some pay-to-play action um, with a Metro board that uh, she may have gotten some kickbacks for. It's, a, it's an interesting situation, and you wonder why someone would choose to not run when they have a, a term left. Well, it's because Corruption. they're being investigated, yeah. and they want to get rid of the sheriff who's doing the investigating. Ah, and there we go, folks. Now we know. Yes. Well, and the sheriff also, like I said, he's been on this network, and we've talked to him about the crime, and I'll guess going letting criminals go, which is tying cops' hands. He is no fan of all those liberals, whether it's your mayor, your city council, your board of soups. So obviously, I think all of those folks dislike Villanueva. But he, like a Sheriff Bianco, like a Sheriff Lamb, these sheriffs around the country that are saying, look, I'm your last line of defense with this crazy liberal agenda. Let the bad guys go in name of equity. They're out trying to uphold the law, and that's why they want him gone. And it isn't, even, it isn't even a liberal agenda. Alex de Villanueva will tell you he identifies as a liberal Democrat. Oh, I know he does. These yeah, people have gone off the rails. It's progressivism. It's DSA, the Democrat Socialists radical. of America. It's, it's completely radical. Yeah. Roxanne, thank you so much for making the drive down and uh, filling us in on why they're making this move to get rid of the sheriff. Uh, if you could, we've been trying to get in touch with him, getting back on for his comment. Help us out with that, will you? Oh, I'd love I to have him on tomorrow will. or Monday to talk about what they're trying to do to him. He's a good guy and he's he trying to keep L.A. safe. Yeah.